Hello everyone, welcome back to Ampnix. In this video, we are going to design a simple USB to UART converter. Before this video, you may have seen a lot of tutorials on USB to UART converter using CH340C, CH340Z or CP2102. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to design a compact USB to UART converter using CH340K. This is a popular chip for reliable USB to serial communication. This PCB is ideal for flashing the firmware, debugging or interfacing microcontrollers such as ESP32, STM32 or Arduino. This PCB is must have tool in any embedded hardware toolkit. So let's get started. Alright so here we have our CH340K and as you can see like this is very small and it is having only 10 pins this ic is quite efficient for serial communication and we will utilize this ic wherever the space is less or we have to design the compact hardware and if i talk about the price so it is also like about half dollar which is quite good so we will follow the data sheet for designing the usb to uart converter so i will click here and we will find the data sheet and unfortunately it is in Chinese we have to find out it in English so that we can design it with better way alright so I found out the data sheet in English and we will follow this data sheet for designing the schematic okay here we have CH340K so the schematic is very simple here we have our USB port then CH340K and microcontroller with CH340K we have additional one decoupling capacitor and one same capacitor at V3 which is similar to other CH340 ICs so I will follow the exact schematic and I will design the schematic in KiCad so I already designed the schematic in KiCad and if you are someone who don't know how to design the schematic in KiCad or how to design the layout in KiCad, you can follow this playlist. In this playlist, I have explained the complex topics of KiCad within 2-3 to three minutes. So with the help of these tutorials, you can learn how to design the PCBs in KiCad. Differentiated the whole schematic in different different blocks. We have Type-C connector, CH340K, LDO, logic converter and connector. So we will go through one by one. Number one, we have C Type C connector. So we will connect the USB via Type C. Why I connected Type C? Because nowadays Type C connector is in trend, or it is quite efficient than previous USBs. So for that reason, I have used here Type C connector. Okay. So whenever you use Type C connector at CC one and at CC two you need two pull down resistors which is about 5.1k so we have added two pull down resistors additionally we have added three TVS diode for protecting the CH340K IC from ESD or transient voltage all right then we have added a external capacitor as well so that we can get the current smoothly we have data minus and data plus additionally we have our plus 5 volt and we have added a indication led as well so that we can see the power is coming from the usb so type c connector schematic is very simple although if you have any doubt or any problem you can always comment below or you can join our community chat the link is in the description all right then we have ch340k in ch340k we have followed the same instruction which was given in the schematic i need to change the value which is 100 nanofarad not 10 nanofarad it is about 100 nanofarad all right then additionally we have added two status leds so that we can visualize either data is transferring or not for that reason we have added 
one LED at Rx and one LED at Tx. So with the help of these LEDs, we can see the data is transferring or the data is receiving or not. So this is the simple schematic of CS340K. We have logic converter. So this is helpful when you program the ESP boards. This will keep the ESP board automatically into boot mode. And you can program the ESP32 or ESP8266 smoothly. You don't need to press the boot button. Alright. So for this we have used SS8050 transistor. This is a NPN transistor. So we utilize two transistors. Alright. Then we have used a connector. So this is for adding the external jumper wire or jig. Whatever you want to connect here you can connect easily. Alright, then we have LDU. So this block is basically responsible for converting 5 volt into 3.3 volt. Because we know that the ESP32 board works on 3.3 volt. So we designed this USB to UART converter especially for ESP32. Although you can debug or you can use this hardware for debugging, for flashing the firmware with other controllers as well such as Arduino or STM32. So this is the simple schematic. You don't need to worry about you will get all the related files over GitHub repository. Alright, so this is how we design the layout of this PCB. The most important tracks of this PCB is this USB part. You have to make sure to maintain the correct impedance. Alright, so you have to match the length properly all right so for that reason you can see here on the bottom copper layer i have matched the length using length tuning so you can see here we have utilized this and if you don't know how to use this make sure to comment it below i will make a tutorial on it also all right so in this way you can design the usb tracks to CS340K alright and rest of the things are very simple as you can see here all the tracks are for power and other signals are routed directly and we have utilized the VRs also I didn't spend a lot of time on it cause this PCB is very simple and it is not having very high speed data transfer rate so this is kind of considerable all right so we have our connector here we have ch340k the power supply section is here if i turn on the 3d viewer we can see it better so from here we are getting the data or we are transferring the data via usb so we have these tvs diode for protecting it from esd or transient voltage the same tracks are coming to the CS340K and we have the power supply section here. So this will basically responsible for converting 14.5 volt into 3.3 volt. And here we have our external connector from where we can program the uh, controllers. And we have also created a table for denoting the pins so that whenever we program our controller we can utilize these pins easily. For that reason we have created this table. So this was the video on USB to UART converter using CS340K. If you found this video helpful make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button for more technical content.